Welcome to the video guys, today is I'm going to show you the best graveyard deck after the balance changes and as you guys saw the executioner got a really good buff so I'm going to be testing it here and I got a really decent deck here with the executioner with the tombstone and giant skeleton and it seems really good right now in the meta and with zappies too because electro giant is it's still in the meta it got a bit nerfed yeah he's gonna already put it there at the bridge it got a good nerf but it still continues in meta and the zap is the doomstone and you have the execution right now and if you face like a lava deck a golem deck it's gonna be really easier the executioner is a really good card versus mainly lava and golem and look at the executioner there on the left side the executioner now is attacking from like really distant from the tower and it's really strong i think it's, it's gonna be meta the executioner okay let's already go here with the giant scouts and i'm gonna gonna i'm gonna tornado first here back to my tower so if you kill them more faster and the giant skeleton can probably it's gonna probably kill that goblin cage the bomb's gonna kill it okay so in this matchup versus electro giant we're gonna mainly play defensive here because we just need to have like one attack okay so he has mother witch so it's gonna be a bit more difficult we don't have like a fireball to kill it really fast but he, he doesn't have mother witch right now in cycle so probably good uh, good time to attack okay so he lightning to this so i know that he doesn't have a lot of elixir and after the the gen Giant skeleton crosses the bridge. You're probably gonna wave right here. So he uses the mother witch and he uses six elixir. So right now he doesn't have a lot to defend. I don't know if he's gonna defend this. Yeah, he, he doesn't have elixir. Yeah, he's gonna start from the other side. So right now, really good attack from us. And now just defend here. Put my zappies here. He's probably gonna go double lane. I don't know if he has elixir. I'm gonna put zappies here on the right. Executioner on the left. I prepared my tombstone here too. Okay, he's gonna put the Dark Prince. One tornado here first. I have to be careful of the Mother Witch on the right lane. And I didn't have the tombstone. I did have legs for tombstone. So, I, yeah, he's gonna line in here. He's probably gonna take the tower. But look at the King Tower there. I'm gonna already focus on the King Tower. I'm gonna grave right here. Giant Skulls tanking when I can. Nice. The design skeleton is tanking. I'm gonna tornado everything just to get out the skellies. In our first match here, we got the three crowns. So let's go to the next one. So to the next match here, let's start our starting hand. And tell me what graveyard deck are you guys using this meta? I'm gonna try to find the best graveyard too because I'm testing this graveyard here. I might like this graveyard. There's a splash shard there. I don't know if splash shard is really good right now, but I'm gonna test it too. Okay, so this guy use, seems to use a really bait deck here. He's using the Skelly Bro with the Skelly King. I'm gonna put my execution in here to try to clean everything. And I don't know, he's gonna use the ability still. I think this ability was not really good. And here, I'm think I'm gonna go. No, I'm not gonna grave right. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna grave right here with a barbell just to kill that the dark goblin. I'm gonna turn it. No, I'm not gonna tornado. But look at the damage there. We're gonna get a lot of damage. That's 2,800. And he was forced to use the, the Skelly King there. And versus decks like this that are really bait, I think we have a good matchup. Because the Executioner here is, is a really like, good card versus all the bait troops. And we just need to uh, defend and do another combo with the Giant Skeleton. Probably gonna start in the back. Okay, so he's gonna Skelly Bear here. I was gonna try to activate here and not push it to the tombstone, but I, I failed both and I received a lot of damage there in the tower. Here's gonna come with the goblins. I'm just gonna start here in the back and start another combo. I have my execution here if he comes. Okay, so he's gonna put the Skelly King at the bridge. I have my executioner is gonna kill everything and I don't, I'm not, I'm not gonna graveyard yet. I'm gonna wait. Okay, so he's gonna guards there. I'm gonna barbaro everything just to kill more faster and then graveyard because he, he used the, the guards as its main counter for the graveyard. Okay, so he's gonna tornado here too. 
Look at the giant skelly. I think it got to the tower. Yeah, it did. Yeah, that got to the tower. And yeah, I got the tower. And I'm just a fan here. But I think this matchup here, the guy, I think, played really defensive. He didn't attack a lot with mortars. And you have to keep pressuring uh, versus my deck here with mortars to get my troops out of cycle. But here, it didn't play well. We got the matchup here. I'm going to go for the two crowns, probably three. Let's see here. Barbara with the graveyard. I'm going to turn over everything. The executioner is, is really OP right now. He's really he's really a good card right now in the meta and he's gonna fit in, fit in a lot of decks right now too the first deck i got is this with the graveyard you have to be careful here he almost had the tower got to 500 but gg and let's go to the next one let's go to the next one here and versus z looks no skill and we're gonna have a really good starting here at the giant skeleton executioner zap is in barbro i like starting with the barbro okay so he seems like using a miner let's see what miner deck he's using and in this deck here i think uh you can't swap any cards here i think the executioner is the main card a good replacement is probably a baby dragon but it's gonna it's not gonna be like the same as the executioner okay so he, he's using that motor deck with Okay, he's using Fireball and the Musketeer Miner. I'm gonna turn it everything here. And look at that Musketeer here. It's, it's zero health and it's still alive. You got a little bit damage there, but it's the start of the match. We could do a really good combo with the Grave Rage on Skeleton. He's gonna Miner here. Okay. I'm just gonna prepare my Tombstone here for the Miner. And he doesn't have Poison, so really good for us. He has to defend it with. He has a skeleton army, I think the skeleton army with the uh, uh, Skelly King and the Musketeer. So I have to probably tornado on offense or poison on offense. Poison is going to be a bit more difficult because we're going to be using 6 elixir with the giant skeleton, then 5 with the graveyard, and 4 with the poison is going to be a bit expensive. But if we have elixir, we're going to do it. I'm just going to zap his here for the, for the bats. He's going to fireball. And I'm going to let that go. I'm not even gonna put executioner right now. When it comes a bit more close, I'm gonna put the executioner. And he's gonna probably come here on the left lane with the miner. Okay, so he's gonna put that Skelly army. I'm just gonna barbear here. Unfortunately, didn't get that Skelly. But here I'm gonna, just, gonna, just gonna graveyard here. The executioner tanking. And if he puts anything, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna push that musket here. So he has zap too, he doesn't have log, so a bit better for us too. We got a really good damage there. He's gonna put my tombstone if he comes with the mortar. He's gonna he's playing more defensive and more defensive here isn't really good. He has to play a, a bit more aggressive because he has to uh keep forcing me to defend. So here I'm just gonna attack. I'm gonna put my zappies here, spreading the zappies to the left and one to the right. Okay, so he's just fireball. I'm ready, I'm ready to use my executioner here. I'm gonna grape her right now. I'm gonna poison if he puts like the musketeer. Nice. He's, I'm gonna turn it to everything just to kill those bats. And we're gonna get good damage there. And if he doesn't respond with nothing, the executioner is gonna. is is forced to put that skelly army. And right now I'm just gonna. I'm really gonna prepare here with my tombstone there in the back. So if he puts that miner, we have the tombstone there, getting a lot of skellies. And I think in this attack we're gonna get a lot of damage. I'm gonna ready to put my executioner. So he can't put he's gonna put bats, but the executioner is gonna kill it really fast. He puts that miner there too. I'm just gonna tornado everything here. You know what the damage they're gonna poison that skelly army too. 1400, 1200. And we already passed them. In the damage, he's gonna finally mortar offense, but now I think it's a bit too late. I'm gonna join Scully here. Nice, we got the miner in the best. He's gonna advance the, the Scully King. I'm just gonna barber here. Yeah, getting all those Scullies. Zap is right now. And he, here's a free poison, getting that musketeer. And I'm gonna already load another tombstone because if he comes with the miner. And execution here for the mortar. 
I'm going to join scouts in here protecting my executioner. I'm going to turn it away to the other lane. Barbara here to kill it. And nice, got the Skelly army too. And he, he puts that mine in there, but the tombstone is helping a lot. And yeah, I'm just going to start graveyarding here with just poison graveyard. Look at the damage there. We're going to get the tower. He doesn't defend it. And it's already test match up here. We got it in the in the final push. Let's go to our next matchup here versus Rain. And our starting can not the best because we don't have we have three three spells here in the starting hand. Okay, so I started with the wall breakers. I'm just gonna tornado everything to the middle. Just nine skeleton here. I knew that I used the tornado, so he's not gonna put that miner on the safe spot. So I already predicted the miner in the back. And I used that barbaro just to tank the, the bats there. Because the bats they do a lot of damage if you don't defend it. And okay, he seems to be using a super cycle deck with a mighty miner miner. And let's see how this matchup is gonna go. I'm gonna tombstone here. I think try to predict my tombstone with that fireball, but it just got the zappies. And in this matchup we're gonna I think it's a bit difficult because our deck doesn't cycle really fast. So we have to keep cycling troops and not be able to attack. And look at the executioner here, it got really good value on the wall breakers on the, the bats. Here I'm probably yeah, I'm gonna grave right here. Let's see what he's gonna put. And nice. I'm gonna tornado the mighty miner to the tower. Look at the executioner getting two hits on the tower. And the executioner is uh getting from so long from the tower. And it's a really good card. And I'm just gonna zap this here, bar bro the, the miner. And if you wall breakers have the tombstone. Yeah, he's not gonna wall break her. And good we didn't receive a lot of damage and we're gonna enter the elixir. So in the elixir we're gonna start doing our main attacks. I'm gonna prepare a tombstone here because if he comes with wall breakers, the tombstone is there. Yeah, he's gonna put wall breakers right now. And I'm gonna start doing my combos. Here in the back, we're just gonna giant skeleton in here. And he's, he uses the log there. He decides to go to the other side. I'm just gonna tornado and zap here in the middle. And look at my cycle. I don't have my tombstone, so I have to leave that that wall breakers there. I'm gonna inside grave right here, poison those bats. And we're gonna get a good decent amount of damage too. And get it to 1700, 600. I'm gonna prepare another tombstone and start another combo there in the back. So he decides to fireball here. I'm gonna let the damage go. It's gonna equal the left side. Yeah, it equal the left side. He decides to go here on the left on the left side too. But I'm gonna activate the tower, the wall breakers. I had to leave that damage there because I didn't have the tombstone. But I'm gonna attack here with the poison grave verge. I'm gonna get it to. 100 142 that's a cycle really fast another poison because he's gonna attack he's gonna attack here he's not he's gonna fireball there but he has to take to another fireball then they're gonna have elixir we're gonna turn it over here in poison too so that's game and i hope you guys like this deck test the deck and tell here in the comments if it's good so that's the video guys i hope you guys liked it gave your feedback there in the comments and Give more ideas for some new videos. And that's the video. See you in the next one.